Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Have you heard of the box method of multiplication? It seems to be preferred these days more than the traditional method of multiplication. So I'm going to put them against each other and we're going to do a versus episode, one which I haven't done in a very long time. So let me see which one you prefer, the traditional method versus the box multiplication method. Let's get into it right now. So here is a traditional two by two multiplication method. So let's go through this for the sake of the video. I have to go through the steps, even though you may or may not know how to do it. Let's go ahead. So three times five is 15. So we regroup there. Three times eight is 24 plus that one gives you 25. We're going to block off the ones place and then five times five is 25. So we're going to regroup here. And then five times eight is 40, plus this two is gonna give us 42. And then here we're gonna add this section. Five plus nothing is still five. Five plus five is 10. So we re regroup there. Two plus two is four, plus one is five. And then the four is by itself. So we just bring that down. So making the answer 85 times 53, 4,505. Now here is the box method. So as you can see, what is happening in the box method here, same numbers, 85 times 53, but what we're doing here is we're separating the 80 and making it um, actually visually the tens place. So 85 is 80 plus five, 53 is 50 plus three. Now what you do, you see we have four boxes here and then we multiply with the boxes, put the answers in each section and then we add them together. So here we have 80 times 50. So when you're multiplying numbers that have zeros, the, um, the good method about this is that you multiply the numbers first, which is eight times five, which is 40. And then you just add on or tag on these two zeros here. So that would make this answer actually 4,000. When you go across here, it's gonna be five times the 50. Right, so the five times the five is 25. And then you tag on that zero there. That's the beauty of the zeros. Down here in this third box, we're gonna do 80 times three. So three times eight is gonna give you 24 plus that zero. We're gonna tag that zero on to make it 240. And then in the last box, you have three times five, which is 15. Now, the next step to do is to add all these up, right? So I'm gonna come over here and then I'm gonna add all these numbers together. So you got the 4,000, that was in the top box. Second box across, it had 250. The third box down, it had 240. And then the last box, it had 15, right? So we're gonna add all of that together. So in the ones place, we have a five. In the tens place, we have five and four is nine and one is 10. So we regroup that there. Two plus two is four and one is five. And four plus nothing else will still bring that four down. So here you can see the answers next to each other. Of course, they're gonna be the same, just two different methods. So 4,505. And here I just wanted to show you a traditional three by two multiplication, three numbers at the top, two at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that for the sake of the uh, video. And then I will do the box method of that same uh, multiplication. So five times one is five. Five times three is 15. Bring that one there. Five times four is 20 plus that one is 21. Block off the ones place. Two times one is two. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. All right, then we're going to add this section. 5 plus nothing is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 1 is 7, 8 plus 2 is 10. So here we have 10,775, and that's the answer for 431 times 25. And down here we have the same thing, but in the box method. So we have 431 times 25. So you can see everything is um, set out in their place values. So let's go ahead and fill the boxes. So we have 400 times 20. So two times the four is eight. 
and then we tag on three zeros to make that 8,000. The second box we have the two times the three is six, and then we tag on the two zeros, which will give that 600. 20 times one will give us 20. And then down here in the fourth box, we have five times four, which is 20. And then you tag on the two zeros, which will give you 2,000. In this uh, next box, we have five times three, which is 15. And then you tag on that zero there to make it 150. Then you have five times one is five. Then you add all the boxes up and we should end up with the same answer. So let's do that. I'm going to do that over here. So we have 8,000, which was in the first box. It's best to put all the numbers, um, the biggest numbers first and then come down. Then we had 600, 150, 20, and then five. All right, so we're going to add everything up now. So we have in the ones place, we just have a five. Tens place, we have a seven hundreds place six plus one is seven and then eight plus two is ten see so you have the same answer ten thousand seven hundred and seventy five I personally still prefer the traditional method but I can see why more and more people are going over to the box multiplication method over the traditional method because it kind of opens up a little bit more what multiplication is all about and it gives you more insight into your place values let me know what you all think like, comment, and subscribe with that notification bell so you know every time I upload, which is every Wednesday. And I will see you next time in another math video. Thank you for watching. Class dismissed. Mm -hmm.